Hey, what is up guys, it's Nate here. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make a sci-fi intro to a trailer soundtrack. So I'll do a little playthrough of what I've got right here. Uh, this is what it sounds like. The only thing I did for mixing on this like little bass ambient sound is a head crusher, which is basically just some distortion. I have it off in the beginning because right here, where is the automation for it? I have automation for it somewhere, right? No, that's just the drive. Uh, head crusher drive device on. As you can see, I have it turned on halfway because I want it to add more variation because it can go without the distortion. It's just, I would much rather have it on. So I did a little compromise. So in the first half, no distortion, second half. Also have the drive automate right here and also global tune right here. So I have it pitched down two cents and it adds like this really muddy sound under the already super heavy distortion, which sounds like this. It just sounds like super like abrupt and like really grungy and I really like the sound of it. So I decided to keep it in. And then next we have our lead ambient sound. This also comes from the same plugin, uh, which by the way is free and literally e like every sound bank in this plugin is free. It's absolutely nuts. Um, so the reverb is evolution. Can you change? Oh my God, you can change it. Um, so what I did on this was I added some like, holy crap. Why is there so much compression on it? I guess, I guess I just need a lot of compression. This is without compression. Oh, I see why now. Yeah, I really like the sound, but I didn't like that there was like that really weird like delay that got pushed on top of it. So if I just turn the compressor on, it kind of like, I guess kind of flattens it. And then next we have uh, another head crusher. Again, my favorite distortion plugin. It's also free. But yeah, this is another really, really good free plugin that I recommend. I'll leave a link to it in the description. So this sound was like really lackluster in the higher frequencies. So I decided to make the tone higher so that it brought in some more um, upper harmonics, which really worked and it, I really liked the way it sounded. This is with it off. It also brought up the sound and volume because it's super quiet. And then I'm gonna turn this flute off right now. I, I actually don't like that. In the intro, we have like this really boomy low sound that plays, which sounds like this. It's just some basic cashmere um, sample that I found on Splice. And then next we have up here, again from Labs. I found out I found out how many cool libraries there are in Labs. So I started using a bunch of like the pad sounds and like piano sounds. And I found this pad sound, which I really liked. which I feel like really complements the whole mood of the track uh, right here. Brings in some like glorious upper, like, you know, spacious chords and all that. And I, I felt like it really, felt like it was really important to the intro. So next, obviously you heard, uh, there's like a wide gap right here. That's just for tension. I don't have any trailers or any videos to go off of or to go like along with. So I just kind of had to put in the wide gap for tension myself. And then right here, 
I decided to get a little, a little spicy and added a key change. The beginning of our track right here is in uh, D minor, and I believe this is B minor. Yep, this is B minor. Next, we have our another lab sound, which is piano. Yep. I felt like it really added some kind of like wondrous vibe that I really, I really feel like the tr the overall track needed. You know, it needed that kind of switch up, that kind of like ambient low feeling that I, I felt like it really didn't quite achieve yet. Next, we have this other piano which plays really low bass notes, and it really complements our lead piano because without it, it sounds like this. Which I don't think is the worst thing in the world, but I feel like it really needed that kind of accompaniment with it. So I added it in and it automatically kind of like fixed it a little bit. And then obviously inside of the plugin there's there's reverb. So I just kind of coded both sounds in a lot of reverb. And then next, what else do we have? Uh, next we have like this little impact that takes us into the next part of the intro. Just some basic um, impact sound that I found on Splice. So next, let's move on to some more sound that I use. Next, I have this basic Labs piano, which I feel like everybody has heard before. It's just this basic um, soft piano. It's like basically the first thing you download when you get Labs. It's like the most iconic piano sound that I know. Lots of people use it. So I added a little melody. This melody has been stuck in my head for a very long time. This is what it sounds like. And then next we have a French horn sound. Something very important that I make, made sure that I added was this little gap right here. And I know you might be asking, why did you add a gap? I added the gap because if this was a real French horn player, they don't, they probably wouldn't have enough air to play the super long note and then play more super long notes. So you got to add this in as like a little breath mark almost. Next, we have something that just kind of layers with the, our, our first shift piano. It's just like some pizzicato string that I found that I really liked. Um, next we have this siren sound. Jonas Aiden is one of my favorite producers out there. Uh, and he releases like all of his sample packs from the songs he makes for free. So I, I took um, the siren sound from his song Riot. Which by the way is a great song. I'll leave a link to it in the description. This is what um, the siren sounded like. Also, quick note, I love adding siren sounds in literally all of my trailer soundtracks because it's so mysterious and it sounds so great. This is without the siren. And then this is with the siren. Also, I forgot to mention, I did add this long sweep right here, just to kind of bring us into the next part of the track, which I have not done yet. But yeah, this is what the riser sounds like. It's just a basic...
But yeah, anyways, if you guys like what you saw, make sure to go like and subscribe. I will be finishing this up probably in the next video. But yeah, make sure to stay tuned just in case I do ever end up releasing that video. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.